If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRACE to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's x -Rates. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. We're also going to be talking about Black Ops 4 in this video. But uh, we're going to start with that, then we'll move on to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 because I want to, or I should say Call of Duty Modern Warfare, because I want to talk about the new engine. So we're going to go ahead and jump into it. If you guys enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, guys. Super, super appreciated and incredibly helpful. And if you are new to the channel, if you want to see even more videos like these, I'm going to have a lot more Call of Duty Modern Warfare news, info, rumors, leaks, and more coming. So make sure you guys are subscribed, have notifications on here on the channel. But anyways, let's go ahead and talk about this. So there's a few things I want to talk about for Black Ops 4. One, we obviously have the Days of Summer event starting up on Tuesday. So we're actually about three days away from that, which is actually kind of cool. Now, we did get a teaser today via the Treyarch Twitter account. They actually changed their avatar over to what you guys can see on screen, which is kind of like a little outdoor cookout type of theme. And you guys will see that this is actually located in Raid. Obviously, this is hinting at Blackout. It looks like we're going to have some sort of summer slash maybe even 4th of July theme going into this. So it's going to be interesting to see what the map looks like. Are they going to change the actual style of the map to like a summer style again? Or will they keep the spring look that we had before? So it's going to be very interesting to see what ends up happening with that. But we do have Days of Summer starting up on Tuesday, which means we're getting new snipers, new weapons, new reactive camos, new camos in general. So I'm actually very excited for Tuesday. I'll make sure you guys are covered and have all that information as soon as we get possibly a teaser for on Monday. And then from there, we'll have more on Tuesday as well. This first half of this operation was just not that great. I mean, we got two new weapons, but... No reactive camos, no, 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 just regular camos. It was just, and then not to mention they added so much crap into the supply drops. I think just a lot of people were really not that happy. So that was what's going on with there. That's what's going on with Black Ops 4. Now with Modern Warfare, there's actually a few things that I wanted to talk about. One, it looks like soap is coming back. That was confirmed. Uh, there have been a little bit of details on the Modern Warfare co-op, which we talked about yesterday. Leaks uh, talked about that, but more specifically, it looks like it's some sort of take on Spec Ops, but albeit way bigger than anything we've seen before. But the big focus here is going to be talking about that new Call of Duty Modern Warfare engine or they're calling it new, but really it's a super revamp of the old one. So it's not completely new. Okay, so a lot of people are like, well, is it a new engine or an old engine just revamped? It's literally just the old engine, but like taken to the next level which is actually kind of crazy. So I've actually seen a lot of people complaining and saying, well, they're saying it's a new engine, but it's new. En it's not a new engine. I want a new engine. And I wanted to explain a little bit about that first before we jump into what some people have said about the new engine and what they think, because they said that it's like leaps and bounds ahead of what we've had before in Call of Duty, which I'm super excited for. But, you know, there's always that group of people who are like, well, it's, it's not a new engine. So uh, that sucks. They should have made a new engine by now. And I want to talk about that because that correlates actually to another event that has happened within other studios. Uh, and I believe this was actually back when uh, I think it was Kotaku or Jason Schreier actually posted a story. I don't know if it was exactly him, but I know it was an article on Kotaku where they were talking about the crunch that Anthem had trying to make its way as a game. And so one of the problems they had was that they had to use a new Frostbite engine that was developed by EA. And so what ended up happening was they created this new engine. It's an amazing engine. The visuals are amazing. So don't get me wrong. The visuals would be insane. But because they created a new engine it actually was that all of these developers were taking forever to learn how to use a new engine you know stuff like being able to open up an inventory and stuff like that is is has to be created all over again it's not just like oh we have better visuals but like literally everything is scrapped away you've got to recreate everything that you would have had in other games that they created like i think it was dragon age they said they were making prior to this and they said that they couldn't use that stuff and like copy and paste it in like just the bare minimum stuff they had to completely recreate everything it was confusing they constantly needed to go and get ideas and help from ea so that they could help them use the engine and so now you see kind of like yes it's awesome to have a new engine everything's gonna look better but when you do that you literally have to relearn everything you have to relearn your job and it takes a lot of time to learn it get it to a point where you're able to do it uh, quickly and efficiently and you know call of duty just does not have that time and if they created a completely brand new engine it would have taken them i'd say at least three years to really get used to it maybe another year after that to get good at it and then on top of that that's for every studio every studio would have to have that learning curve and learning how to use it so because again they're scrapping everything starting from new so this new engine is not completely new it's been revamped 
but it keeps all the old stuff that works, which makes it familiar to all the other studios. And they're actually going to be sharing this new, we're just going to call it new engine. We're just because it's so different from the old one that they modified. And they're going to be sharing it with the other studios, which is awesome. So I just wanted to start off with that because I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, it's not a new engine that sucks. Why haven't they made a new engine? It's really literally that. It's like if you make a new engine, you have to redo everything, relearn everything. And it's just not doable. It's not feasible to do that when you have uh, to have that commitment of making a new Call of Duty every single year. So I'm still happy that we have a heavily modified new engine that is almost new. So anyways, let's read this article first on uh, Charlie Intel. Then from there, we're going to go to a quote that was posted on Reddit from some journalists and like uh, media people that went to Infinity War to actually try out and look at the campaign and stuff like that. And his impressions, because they're actually pretty insane. Like the quote that he had is pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and talk about this. So it says, yes, it's finally a thing. Call of Duty Modern Warfare uses a brand new engine for the first time in Call of Duty in a long time. And again, I said they're saying it's a new engine, but really it's like a heavily modified engine from before. Now it says Call Call of Duty Modern Warfare features a new engine delivering an immense and photorealistic experience along with the latest in audio simulation effects. We had a chance to see the new engine in action at Infinity Ward and it was incredible. Lots of details, new level of realism, and so much more. Beyond this, Eurogamer is reporting that Infinity Ward will be sharing the new engine across the team, including Sledgehammer Games and Raven Software. We were not told during our visit, but we wanted to pass this along as it's big news that the new engine will be used going forward. One of the key objectives of the latest engine is to help lay the foundation for the future of the Call of Duty series, with initial work starting on the revamp as long as five years ago. Going forward, Infinity Ward works will be shared across studios such as Sledgehammer and Raven Software, where there has been already a healthy collaborative history. So that is what was posted. So there's a lot of mumble jumble tech stuff in there. I'll probably cut that from this comic because it was just a lot of that. But, you know, it's got a lot of new technology in there. And I think the biggest thing to take away from this is that, like, literally Infinity Ward went crazy. They were like, you know what? We're going to actually scan a whole bunch of stuff in real life. And we're going to use that. So everything looks almost photorealistic because they have scanned a ton of stuff. So everything is way more advanced and visually stunning than it was any time before. So again, not necessarily a new engine. And from what I have heard, uh, the rumors and you know talk that I've heard is that uh, Infinity Ward of Poland, which was a studio that opened about five years ago, uh, they specifically were open so that they could do research and work on stuff. So it might be that they themselves for the past five years have been working on this engine, which is absolutely insane. But anyways, I want to transition from that to this post that was posted on the Modern Warfare subreddit. Now, this is actually from an article. I'm not sure what the article is. There wasn't any credit given, but this is basically what the quote is. It says, the final cherry on top of this is that there's a new engine, in quotes. Whether that's a from the ground up new or a modified version of Infinity Ward's IW engine isn't clear, but levels look astonishingly good either way. The townhouse starts with what looks like a CGI cutscene as soldiers prepare, and it's only after the gun comes on screen you realize you're playing. I think I might have said, are you joking out loud at that point? Multiple times, other journalists at the studio questioned what it was running on. The answer was PS4 every time. One of the biggest contributions to this visual leap is heavy use of photogrammetry with the studio scanning just about everything in the name of realism. Rubble, walls, bodies, developers playing dead, old mattresses, even entire coastlines, parts of the level called highway is built from photo data captured using drones. Someone lost a car in the California wildfires, but the damage looks so cool that they brought the door in to scan. It means the environments and details are built with a level usually reserved for high resolution face scans. So everything is being scanned, right? Infinity Ward got this new engine. They were like, holy crap, let's push it to the limit. They scan literally everything. And I just wanted to mention that nothing in this game is CGI. None of the character models, none of the movement, nothing is CGI. They actually had everyone do motion capture for everything in this game as well. So I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited to see what this game looks like and what this means actually for other developers, other studios who are working on the game. And really next gen is coming too, man. PS5, Xbox 2, I'm just going to call it yeah, the Xbox one. I don't know what the next one's called, but, uh, you know, it makes me excited to see what's going to happen with that leap to that next gen as well. So I am excited. 
let me know what you guys think about this new engine drop some comments down below but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it if you did drop a like guys super super appreciate it incredibly helpful and if you are new to the channel if you want to see even more videos like these i'm gonna have a lot more call of duty modern warfare news info rumors leaks and more coming so make sure you guys are subscribed have notifications on so you don't miss a single upload here and if you guys want to support the channel directly you guys can actually do so by checking out my channel membership you get access to early content exclusive video special badges and more so go ahead and check that out only for willing and able to last but not least if you guys want to talk about anything twitter best place to talk constantly on there talking go ahead and give me a follow at ogx rays i'll see you guys next time take care i'm out peace